Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi. If you don't already know, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back. So I'm super excited today because today is finally a day that my Teamy package came in. Now, that's right, Teamy. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. I recently heard about it on TikTok, of course, and it's basically kind of like a sheen. So they have clothes, they have house stuff, they have so many variety of things just like Shein, but um, there's kind of like, I guess you can say, they're kind of like comparing them. Not with Metro anymore. I am with ATMT. They're kind of like in competition with each other. I wouldn't say that, but in my eyes, kind of, because Shein is like where I go to get like, you know, a bunch of like random stuff, makeup, jewelry, uh, house things, humidifiers, nails, hair things, clothes, but Teamy does the exact same thing. Now the prices, mmm, to be honest, I see that Teamy is a little more cheaper than Shein. That's what I think, in my opinion. Um, but I'm not really sure. You guys already know that I'm a diehard Shein like lover. I love Shein. We have reviewed Shein on this channel so much, and I think you guys like it. But today I decided to order some makeup from Teamy. So I ordered uh, 18 dollars worth of things. Now it's mostly makeup, but there's other things in here too that are not makeup. So let's just go ahead, open it up share with you guys my thoughts of what I think of Teamy. Let me just be real with you. I enjoyed shopping on Teamy and like just looking at all the things they had. They had so many cute things. Now I love Sheen, but Teamy seems like they have so many cuter things when it comes to like bathroom stuff, house decor stuff, pink kitchen appliances. So I have my first package right here from Teamy. Let's go ahead and open her up. I am so, so, so excited. Delivery, it took probably like a week exactly. If not, I'll put it right here, but to me, it feels like it was a week. Sheen. Shein takes like a week and a couple days, almost two weeks. So that's like the thing about Shein that before they used to kind of like be here in like a weekish. Now they take like up to almost two weeks. Let's begin. Ah! I spent like eighteen dollars, so not a lot of money because at first I was kind of like, oh my god, I don't want to like spend so much money on here and then have everything be like half-ass and like weird and stuff. So I only spent like eighteen dollars. But let's go ahead and try everything out. Let's get started and grab your snacks, grab your wine, grab your popcorn, grab your iced coffee, grab your iced matcha, grab your buzz balls. Let's start off with this. Now, this is like a, like a lip honey moisturizing lip mask. Super cute. This is how I found her on Teamy. It was just super cute, you know. I just love cute sh And I have seen people use these like on TikTok to make like cute, aesthetically pleasing, you know, skincare routine videos. So I'm all about the what the hell just fell? <clears throat> wow. Here she is. So cute. <laughs> But we have bad news. Literally, the thing you just heard fall was the honey stick. Like, it just completely broke by falling, or I don't know what I did. I mean, anything that I did, you guys see me do on the video, but it's already broken. It's like super, super moisturizing. Like, I'm not even trying to be dramatic or anything. I'm almost not mad anymore that this broke. This super moisturizing. I don't know if you guys could tell from my lips, but a very moisturizing. Lip moisturizing mask is a 10 out of 10. The packaging is so cute, you know, just to have it like in your skincare aisle and then just. It's so bomb. I went ahead and grabbed an LA Girl dupe. So this is the concealer that I got. This is called a high coverage concealer. This is my LA Girl Pro Concealer. So as you guys can tell, pretty much the same. Ooh, this is another concealer. I guess I got this one. So I got another concealer. Okay, so this is also like a concealer as well. Next, I got brushes. I got two brushes because my concealer brush and my face brush, girl, it was time to go. First off, packaging, 
does not look cheap. I mean a little cheap, but it was literally a dollar, so. But it doesn't look like it was a dollar, to be honest. It really doesn't. And look at the bristles, nice and thick. Perfect for concealer. Next, I got this Pink Embellish Mate Makeup Compact. So it's literally just like this. And it's pink. Ooh, my lip liner. Of course, you guys, anywhere I order, I always get a lip liner. First off, why is it pink? I hope it's not pink because I didn't order a pink lip liner. Okay, guys, so here's the lip liner. Oh, okay. I thought it was pink at first. So this is the packaging. Basically, it's kind of like a little pencil. I already sponged it on the top. But so far, not bad. Not bad, teeny. Okay, we just have a couple more things. Next thing that I got were some press-on nails but they looked way different on the on the picture they looked a little bit more chunky a little bit more you know y2k then i got some glue for it it was literally like a dollar you guys all this stuff is so cheap i also got like this little humidifier it is so cute it's like a pink peach color in the picture it literally said pink but to me it looks like peach and for the last item that i got i seen on tiktok let's try this viral glitter pen thingy the julie star magic color shiner i don't even know I got her. Now, I am so excited to use this, but kind of scared because it lets off a lot of shimmer. Oh my God. I'm very interested in what we can do with all this makeup. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So for the first thing that I'm going to try out is the foundation brush. I'm going to go ahead and just grab my regular foundations. I'm going to go in with this Anastasia one and then this one to mix them out and make them my skin color. One pump, another pump, mix. Before I actually do that, let me go ahead and use the concealer, my new concealer, and cover up, you know, these little scars right here, these little, little hormonal acne. So I'm going to grab this, kind of just cover up all these little marks I like to conceal my face before I put foundation just because I'm a full coverage you know girl and I just love to have a full coverage beat and this is what I feel helps me achieve that look it's kind of just concealing my face before adding foundation so that's pretty much what I do I do feel like LA girl is a little bit more thick but we'll see how she blends I'm gonna grab the concealer brush, actually no, foundation brush. Grab my foundation, and here we go. Wow. Okay, you guys, so as you guys can tell, everything is pretty much blended with this little brush. Would I start, you know, kind of exchanging this brush for my regular foundation brush, which my regular foundation brush is, is this brush. So I don't really know if I would go ahead and grab this brush instead of this brush. I don't think that's going to happen because obviously this one's bigger and it could just, you know, be more faster. But I wouldn't be mad at this brush at all just for being small. Like I said, it's a dollar. It's hard to even put in a two cents when it's literally a dollar and good like quality you guys can tell it doesn't look that cheap and the bristles are really nice and soft thick now we're gonna go ahead and try this concealer it's very i don't really know this is actually giving like cheap cheap so we're gonna give it a little pump hmm okay whoa Uh, uh, 
Yeah, even when it's blended, I mean, technically, it doesn't look too, too bad, but I'm just super strict when it comes to my concealer. Like, my concealer has to look a certain way. Very sharp, very clean, very white. There is days where I don't go for a full coverage, like, face. I just go in, like, my everyday makeup Monday through Thursday is when I kind of just kind of, like, play around, dab a little bit of concealer under my eyes, kind of just blend it out with my fingers. I feel like this would actually be a very good concealer for just, like, one of those days where I'm not trying but today when it's full glam day it's not gonna happen grab the beauty blender to finish it off Alright guys, so next, now that my concealer is kind of somewhat um, setting in, I'm going to go ahead and get my Pink Embellish Makeup Palette. So... Let's go ahead and go in with this other Conceal Compact. Now, this is pretty much what it says in the back. I have kind of like a contour shade right there, so that's the one that I'm gonna be using to contour my face. What the hell? This is most definitely not a contour color. LA Girl Pro Concealer to the rescue once again. Alright guys, so now that I feel like I somewhat fixed the makeup, I did an actual contour. I did some bronzing, I did uh, some blush, and I did my nose contour. So pretty much my makeup is almost done. We just have to go ahead and review the lip liner and review Miss Thing Thing over here. So let's go ahead, open up the lip liner, and lip line our lips. So... I feel like I don't know what color this is. What color? I'll put top top tope pink. I'll put it right here in tope. This is such a pretty color. It literally emphasizes my lips like crazy. It makes them look 10 times bigger. I absolutely love this color. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put some Morphe lip gloss on. Wow. Lip game right now is 10 out of 10. I love it. All right, guys. So next, time for this little wand. It literally says magic color shinner. Shinner? Shinner! It literally says shinner. I'm not kidding. It looks really, really cool. I'm also scared to use this because I was looking at the comments in the video that I seen of somebody using this and they're like, homegirl gonna have glitter on her floor in 4043. Have you guys heard that like obviously when you guys throw, drop glitter like on a kitchen floor, it's it's gonna be almost like impossible to remove all of the glitter. So that's what I'm kind of scared. I'm like, uh, but it's fine. <gasps> Not fine. Okay. Here we go. So, as in the video it shows, she kind of just grabs it and kind of goes like this. Let's go ahead and see how we see things, I guess, like in flash. Okay, let's just take a quick picture. Wow, flashback actually doesn't really look a like crazy i thought my makeup was gonna look really bad because of the i didn't have a lot of faith in this but you guys this is actually one of my favorite things out of like everything i've got let's take another photo Wow. Like, are you... Are you kidding? 
That's me. No filter. So what I can literally say from this whole teamy makeup experience is honestly, so we had a little ups and downs as you guys can tell. Um, you know, right off the bat, my little honeycomb stick just broke super sad about that i'm gonna try to fix it uh the brushes so the brushes i mean i think they're good but i wouldn't use them for my foundation ever again i feel like they're only going to be strictly for like concealer or like a top lid thing i don't think i'm going to use them for foundation at all so just concealer so i have to give them you know like a 9 out of 10 they're not bad now this I feel like this has to be probably like the star of the show. I feel like this transformed my under eyes into something like so different but cute and I really, really like this. This is a little dangerous. I mean, you guys seen that I opened it and like all of it came off. Uh, I don't really, I mean, it did do a difference. I could tell right here it brightened me up a lot right here. So I really like this as well. Just be very careful with it. Uh, probably, I don't know, it's kind of giving me, it's gonna give me a little bit of anxiety to put it in my purse and then like what if it all falls in my purse? But next is this concealer. Now this concealer wasn't bad. I just feel like it can't be in the full glam section i feel like this is gonna be really good for more like an everyday kind of just like with your fingers kind of just you know um so yeah not bad either Ooh, the lip liner this lip liner is is so good i'm going to order a lot more of these because i've been looking for the perfect kind of like subtle color and this is absolutely the sorry it's because like i kind of need to burp and i'm like <laughs> Um, that's pretty much it for all the makeup that I tested out. We just have to go ahead and try out the nails, the humidifier, and then the little teeny tiny microphone. But for the makeup, this is pretty much how it went down. Take it as you guys will. Um, to me, I liked it. I liked it. I had fun with it. Okay, guys, so I have the nails on, and I don't even remember when's the first time that I ever put press on nails, but so they look a little funky. It's giving, um, my fingers are way too fat for the nail. Like, I don't know, it's giving kind of like weirdness. Uh, but from far, it doesn't look bad. I like it. Oh, I just love a good Frenchie. So, I don't know. They feel like they're strong. They do feel strong. They feel like they're not going to come off. But I will check in with you guys in probably like at least like three days just to let you guys know how they're doing. Because I cook a lot. I clean a lot. I wash dishes a lot. I do laundry. I do mate. Like I do so much. So let's see if these nails can keep up. All right, you guys, so it's been a couple of days and I just wanna go ahead and show you guys the little foundation. Remember earlier on in the video, I kinda said that I wasn't really messing with this as much because it wasn't, you know, good for concealer, but it's super good as foundation, you guys. Like, it's the best. So when I have days like this where I don't put any makeup on and I just don't wanna look hella fun boga, just get a little pump like this. Add a little bit right here. do you guys see that but anyways you guys i just wanted to show you guys how much i really liked using that product for like a no makeup five minute makeup look Okay guys, so here is the humidifier. I just turned it on. So hopefully it can work.
Okay, I hear something happening in there. Not really sure what's going on. 